Hello humans and otherwise, I'm Adicia and welcome back to my blind let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles 3! Uh, quite a bit happened last time, we have encountered uh, Ethel and Kamarabi being forced to work together. That's them now. Uh, they both killed each other, but that's what they wanted to do. Kamarabi was trying to be controlled by one of the Mobius bastards. He took out his own eye to prevent that. And then him and Ethel proceeded to fight to the death. And they killed each other. And then we killed two Mobius bastards at the same time. So that was nice. And now we've, yeah, got ahead to the castle. Uh, let's see what the Nopon have to say. From Millennium, Turkins and Googles trade bashes on head and knock the wildwood. We're taking out of the crash and crossfire. Wait, friends already been through. And still not in pieces? That impressed me much. Interesting news. Hello, step right up. What would friends like? Yikes, turn down the volume. Well, we're helping Shilshell out making this register thing, so here we are. Oh, now Paro understand all. Friends come for my present for Shilshell, yes? Not even close. She said you'd have some kind of stone? Yes, that's correct. Please take this to Shilshill. Blue no pawn pebble. No need to shout. Shilshill can't hear you. First little shout is vital for sales. This first most important thing and also second. Third and fourth place empty, but fifth is also shouting. <laughs> Fit the compliment voice of Paro very highly. So Paro serve patrons with big voice. Uh, it's great that you're so upbeat. Okay, we'll pass the start on to her. Always nice to see a new face. Don't need you to be screaming. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything. Oh, well, Valdi can. So I actually use my bonus EXP to level up in order to win that fight. Got no food that's running right now. Not the usual, since I can never have any ingredients for anything else. Suppose I don't go around trying to get ingredients, that's what happens, right? Hey, nothing wrong with EXP and CP. That's always useful. Okay. Next on the list is. Is? I don't know, what's this? Can I even do this side quest over here? Can I access it? If I can access it, I'll do it right now. But I think it's off the map. I found something shiny. These are lying around everywhere. This was a nice find. Yeah, it's off the map. Not really. Is this an area I've even really been to? I had to access the map normally. There. Where is this side quest at? So it happens I don't really get to properly play the game for a long time. Look over there. Oh yeah, I can get this. Project a blade? What? Are those supposed to be like uh core crystals? <laughs> Kind of what it sounds like. I was wondering what that blaze was. So we damage field. Okay. Come after me, and that's what you get. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Looks like glass I can shatter. Out of my way, Uni. Darn it. Well, if anything, we're visiting them because, you know, they've taken up this place as their habitat. So we're in their territory at this point. It's pretty obvious there's nothing left of the people who used to live here. Oh, 
like I said before, this is probably the area that was under the Cloud Sea initially in 2. The original world. Before the conduit and Klaus happened. Conduit, which happens to look like the Zohar! Because the devs love using that symbol. If only you didn't charge off on your own. I like to believe that all the games are connected in some way. Xeno Gear, Xeno Saga, and Xeno Blade. Especially since uh, you can actually fight well to tall id in uh Xeno yeah in uh, Xeno Saga 3. And then you can get uh, Cosmos and Telos and Xeno Xenoblade 2. Even if they're just supposed to be cameos, they're still connected in that way. I don't care what this annihilator thing is. We've got to wreck it. Oh, believe me, we will. A nice bit of sunshine. It's another thing to see it for yourself, right? And strong bluffs. I'm gonna say, like, yeah, you can't see kind of strong wind here. I thought I saw wind blowing. What is down there? Is it just water? They always have this giant cliffs in Xenoblade. You never get to see what's like at the bottom. Well, I, I can't say never because you you went to the bottom in Chronicles Blood. And to, technically. Where did we end up now? In fact, you go underneath the bottom and two. Uh, of course, it have these big things here. Yep, the reefs. They were around Alchemoth initially. Makes sense they'd be there now. I wonder... How do you think Ethel felt? Was that really what she wanted? This is my personal opinion, but life's defined by moments. Your acts define you. I think she found value in that. To achieve something in the limited time left to her. One defining moment was what she chose. You think Mimi feels the same way? I gave you my opinion. I'm sure Mio has her own thoughts on the matter. Although, I know she doesn't have that much time left. And hence, my being here now. So, you've chosen your path. Until now, I was afraid to take that first step. I know that feeling. But now, I can do it. Man. Once you get started, it's not so difficult, but the trouble is starting it in the first place. Which describes this YouTube channel perfectly. One of the started for years, but really think never come. actually got around to doing it. They'll come. You can count on it. Yeah? And then what? If you want to give them a hug, you can count me out of it. I want to show something to Her Majesty. Yeah? And what's that then? I mean, she's not even... She needs to be there to see how hope dies. What's this about now? She can see it. Her Majesty occupies the same niche of existence as we do. Sounds like Melia is actually hoping for Ouroboros to, uh, hmm? well, take out the consoles and all that to deal with Mobius. Oh, hey! And Here's he wants to show her Ouroboros being wiped out. These are lying around 
Well, she no longer has hope for change. Hope to make the world better. This is Melia we're dealing with, and she's not a bad person. She's not evil at all. This was a nice fight. Unless a lot's changed in the huge amount of time that's passed. However much time has passed, I'd still like to know how much time has passed. I hit it, it's supposed to be a knockback attack, but it's, it said knockback, but the enemy still seems to be in place. It's only a knockback if the enemy doesn't get knocked back, you know? Kind of the idea for a knockback. No, oh, sand attack! Unless the question's a Pokemon! Yes, big impact. I thought I'd call it if you're just gonna giant hammer at someone. He was using a move called Leg Breaker, but the character's legs seem to be fine, so I don't think it worked. Alright, you. Come here, I'm gonna kill you two. All the EXP and all that. Although the previous bosses showed that yeah, it was my level, it wasn't really that bad because I was at level initially, but I just ended up losing repeatedly. So I only gained two levels. I just demolished them. But I don't think it was my levels, I'm pretty sure it was my gear. Actually updating it for once. You get a giant hammer repeatedly, yet you somehow miss. Really need to have attacks make sense if they miss. Characters have stormtrooper aim. I just remember the silly comic I saw about that once. I can't remember if I ever mentioned this before or not. Way to press Stormtrooper. He points his own blaster to his head to end it. Point blank range. His uh, barrel was blaster is directly against his head. He pulls the trigger and misses. This is a Stormtrooper, so he can't aim for crap. I got a chain attack, but what for? It's already down. Still not that much EXP, though. I'm the girl with the gall. Uh, black fog all over the place here. Whoa, visitor. Really? What? What is it? Oh, one of you! Hi. Fine, I'll kill you too! Go away! Oh, I'm I'm not gonna deal with this many people at once. You're just a regular enemy, and I got seven characters with me. It's still gonna take forever to kill you, though, for some reason. But you're level 38, my party is also level 38, so I'm at level. Which is good. Like I said before, I don't want to be over leveled, but I don't want to be under leveled either. From over leveled, the will speak game too easy. A mess not entertaining to watch. But I don't want to be sitting here constantly losing over and over and over again. Because I'm under leveled. If it's just my gear, then that's fine. I don't need to kill another one of those. I can just change my equipment. Oh, 
Oh, levels? That's a bit different. Just past that gate, we'll find the Colony 11 garrison. Oh, Colony 11. Beyond that is a residential zone. From there, there's a road to the castle's main gate. Gate penetration would not be easy. Uh, no. I expect huge battle. Yeah. So we'll take a detour through the hovering reefs to the right and swing around behind the castle. That's where we'll find the ether mine and freight entrance I mentioned. Understood. There's always a back entrance, isn't there? Be around here for long. Let's make for those reefs, as you called them. Good. This way. Follow me. Really? Okay, fine. I guess I'll kill you now. She decided to attack me. Not even gonna let me get anywhere. As soon as I start, I just get attacked constantly. I'm gonna probably need the crafting materials anyway. I, mean, I don't know if Hawks has dropped anything I need. I never bothered to look. She might. Should just be able to use a hammer to smash them into paste. It's one smite. They strike and smack at the same time. One smike! <laughs> smash their heads in. Of course, that would be really gory. And they're not gonna have that. They have to um, change the rating of the game. <laughs> I see a grimy enemy in the dust. How you gonna do that? I wonder if I should just keep Volvi around. I don't. Maybe I should because well, who knows how many more mechs I'll be dealing with. Head right to the castle. Oh, come! What? I'm gonna attack by everything at once. Two elites at the same time. Yeah, it might be a good idea to start doing that. Yeah, I killed that one, but another one joined up to attack me. It's not gonna last long though. Well, at least there's no uniques, that would be a real pain. Those are real powerful ones. I can go straight for it because I've already got I already had it rank three. Straight 260 right off. Yeah, the enemy can't even survive my opening attack. <laughs> Overkill from the first round of chain attacking. Yeah, why not? It's dead. Let's just overkill the hell out of it.
<laughs> but I can't do this ring a boss. See how high I can make this chain attack go. And there's still more enemies! <laughs> you think you're gonna get revenge for me just killing what the uh, two elite hoxes now? Oh, uh, there's another random hox. You're really gonna do something against me? Another rank up. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. This will lead us round to the back of the castle. Yep. Oh, another place high up. Ready now, see, up. See if I can do this without falling off now. Like I've done in the past. Who puts an item on there? I like how my controller vibrates and just sliding down that too. Which makes sense because it would be really rough going down there and there would be a lot of friction. Yeah, more bugs. More stuff the developers didn't take care of in development. Fix your bugs! Yeah, there's only 37, but uh, EXP is EXP, right? Alright, looks like I need some HP. Oh, I did before I switched. Oh, hey! Well, you're a big one, are you? Gotta remind you of a Telefia. Well, you know, you're not. And now another bug. And everything's here to kill me all at the same time! Oh great, Noah's down. There you go. Get him back up and immediately throw out a heal. That's what you're supposed to do right there, yep. Everything else dead? No, you don't drive away. You get back up here so I can kill you. Neo! Uh, might as well fight everything as I go. Right now, this is like a uh, turn-based RPG with random encounters that has really high encounter rate. Every couple of steps, another fight. It doesn't annoy me when games do that. Let's see, I can run away. I'm just choosing not to. Aren't any more, are they? Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of using this big hammer as a weapon. I Even mean, when I'm the one controlling it. But it's a job, I need to level up, so that's what I'm doing. Wait, did I just see Mastered? I thought I just saw Mastered. Something Mastered. It was you! But you were a tank. I need another tank. I'll keep you safe and snug. I'll keep you as a tank so you can be her. You can use her for class now. So I gotta get all the way over there. That's quite the distance. What? Yeah, everything is hostile as hell here. I swing it with a giant hammer, I somehow miss. 
I mean, it'd be better if, like, the hammer bounced off of the tide and you hit the wrong spot or something. I'm gonna use a defensive ability. But that's not what happened. You simply missed for no reason. Stand in the AOE field, please. The only part of it's in. Does that count? I don't know where its proper hitbox is for that. I can't do anything without getting into another fight. Not a thing. It's so. Yeah, why is it so hard to just move somewhere? Yeah, I've run from plenty of fights in the past. I think how fast that one died. You're gonna say sometimes brute force is the answer? Yeah, sometimes it is. So you're still firing after the enemies are all dead? Well, why not? Wait, wait. I see that. Oh, wait, that's up. Okay. You see, I see one of those uh, high ether points. Well, that's above me, not below me. I hope the very conspicuously purple vines. And of course, more things to kill. That's standard for these, though. Got yeah, a big old level 38 over there. Are you bigger than the one I was fighting before? You look bigger. Not sure if I want to fight you, just fight your level. Yeah, I like fighting giant enemies in games. I already fought multiple Pyronises, no sense of huge. Really giant turtle one. Back flops. I'm gonna say belly flop and fall into its back, so that doesn't really count. Well, we use the other form this time. I never, I never do that. I always just tend to stick with one form, the initial one. Get regen on though. That break, where's the topple? I can't do that with this weapon. Please work with me a little. You are? You're supposed to be following me. Right for the plucking. I haven't even been using those to power up more. I'm reading another ether sphere. Are you reading it or are you Should seeing it? A boost now? Yeah. I could go there, grab that, and then just run like hell. But ah no, let's just go. So I'm definitely not fighting that thing, it's level 49. Maybe it's like New Game Plus, but uh, unlike my Persona Let's Play, I'm not doing New Game Plus as part of the Let's Play, obviously. There's no point. Never been here before. Well, no, obviously not. I don't want to find another Elite. You're just... There's a bunch of groups of them. There's one elite per group here. Ugh. I, I don't want to find an army of elite enemies. Let's just get going. 
Yeah, more of them. They're everywhere here. So can I do it when I'm in combat? I can't. Good. I have to climb this thing. That's fine. What kind of place is this? It's a place with giant scorpion things again. They have a lucky one. But now, I fought a lot of things just now. I like to make some progress now, game. I just admire the view. Because Xenoblade views are always amazing. I wonder if I'll be able to go in that, considering enemies are flying through it, maybe. With the big crevice in the rock. You see that big hole. I don't think I can get away from uh, fighting you, so you're just directly in my path. You see that dead titan right there? Now, see the back of it's gone, the annihilation effect and all that. These are huge. Kind of like those giant rays that you deal with in the Chronicles 1 as well. Really more like those in Atalethia. Ah, I was poisoned. Well, it's supposed to die. Well, it's yellow, so it probably is rare. Or Scorpox. Or Roar. I'll fight it, I guess. This big, ugly thing. But if it looked nice, it wouldn't be a scorpion, would it? Those things are always ugly. I saw this video about scorpion farming recently. It's like a bucket full of, like, hundreds of scorpions. Maybe even thousands. You just dump it into one area and then... Take care of the scorpions in there, and they get venom out of them, and they use that for uh, medicinal purposes. It's just that the scorpions are all shoved into one area, they're all crawling all over each other. I don't know if the scorpions are fine living that way, or what. I mean, if you're gonna do stuff like that, to help with uh, modern medicine and all that, yeah, but at least treat the animals well as you're doing it, even if they're scorpions. I mean, obviously they're feeding them, but they have to, they have, to have them live. Oh, ah, spiders! Speaking of spiders, speaking of uh, more arachnids. Scorpions, oh, we got spiders. Yeah, at least treat them well when you're doing it, even if they're scorpions. I was just wondering where all the sub zeros were so they could fight the scorpions. There's so many, though. I'm gonna smash the spider's abdomen. Leave the spider goo all over the place. Be a disgusting mess. I haven't encountered too many spiders recently, but I have been seeing lots and lots of bees. Sitting at the bus stop to get back from work, and there were like four bees buzzing around, and one of them would always land on the seat next to me. It was weird. None of them were hostile at all or anything, though. They were just flying around, minding their own business. I wasn't doing anything to them, they weren't doing anything to me. 
the one who just landed literally right, now, right on the seat where I was at. And just crawl around. I don't know what it was doing other than just being there. Man, I got no problem with the bees. Heck, uh, like, oh, a week or so ago, one just landed on my arm and started walking around on me. I didn't freak out or anything like that. I just watched it. It's typically, you don't mess with them, they're not going to mess with you. It's pretty simple to deal with them. I mean, it's not like they want to sting you anyway. They're not going to attack unless they're really provoked. I'd revive you, but I can't. But I'm, not, I'm not in the habit of killing insects that are really needed. We kind of need bees to pollinate flowers and all that. A lot of our food is from that stuff. Wait for a moment. So I'd rather we keep the bees. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Push this thing here and. First time I've had to use one of these. So there's a ladder for these machines. Well, that is that area I wanted to go to. But, is that where I should be going? Uh, no, actually. Wait for a moment. But, let's go there. Because I'm not supposed to go there. Let's go there. Oh, lightning right next to me there. As long as there's no annihilation events. There's the sword too. Lance, what did you do? Fall off? This whole lands with one HP. Yeah, I can go in here. I wanted to go in here. Now I will go in here and see what's here. Why don't you just flap those head wings of yours and fly, Uni? You like cream the rabbit. You can fly with your ears. And Freedom Planet, nearly a dog, can only uh, you know, hover. But green just flat out flies. You're a big end. You're a unique one, aren't you? You're guarding that. What level are you? 40. Huh. Blazing Carlos. You know what? I'm gonna fight you! Not sure if I can win, but I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna grab this item while I'm here. Odd ring, odd ring like shark. That way I have it even if I lose. The other one is like level 48 or something like that. I'm like, nah, this one, only one level above me. The heck, Baldi is level 40. You know what else is so funny, unique anyway? Not time I fight another one of these things. And this awesome music. I uh, better get some healing out. Generate spell takes a long time to cast. Right. 
just before it can uh, overheat on me. I want to be able to use it again soon. Although I'll probably wait to the end of it until the cooldown's finished anyway, so it won't really change anything. Yeah, this fight's taking a while, but it is unique. That's what happens. They're really powerful. Basically fighting a boss. I mean, it's got the fire in the middle and everything. Fighting for that chain attack. I'm not equipped to, uh, outright. Oh, Do like I did before, buff the party. Make sure I got heals out. And then just chain it. I definitely need HP. Too bad he's not a machine. Blazing Carlos with a K. Well, I wouldn't want there to be less where that came from. More is always better, right? This will end it. This will end the cheetah tech round, anyway. Two right from the get go. Can I sleep you? Probably not. Come on. Nah. Yes, everyone get ready. Do not finish this. Oh, uh, no. Self-KO? No, I'd rather not do that, you know? Uh, 100% exactly. Burrow's power! Well, yeah, let's just go for it. The only time I actually get a Bravo is at the end of the Sheen Attack anyway! I was doing against uh, machines. Especially equipped the fight for Ronises. I think it's full down. Get him up! Tie 
So you remain a link, uh, the character was down, that's why. And like a bet down to one, too. Have some regeneration. This is the healing Ouroboros form. Yeah, that's both done at the same time. I can't go back to Ouroboros right now, so let's enter the uh, overheat immediately. Well, if I lose, I at least got the step. I got the item that it was guarding. Well, I can cheat a second, though. Still chain attack it. Well, that seems like it's the best way to go right now. Chain attack it, throw up my heels. He's not supposed to have aggro. Be though, he could be the one with high aggro. Well, something like that. I was hoping it would uh, give me lines as well after I did Senna's, but it didn't. No, it won't. This is a terrible chain attack. Plan of attack, though. I'm not gonna be able to finish it. That was crap, wasn't it? Well, I gotta need a third chance after. Ow! Ow! Union's down to No oh, and Neo are about to go down. Anyway, we need some heals. Did you seriously interlink just before I can heal you? Focus on the healing. Yeah, they decided to injure leg before I could heal Santa. I almost got it. Blaze field might help too. If something goes wrong horribly at the last second, which is very possible, I've got this.
One random buff in the party. All the buffs. Doesn't do any damage, but it helps everyone else do more. Or take less or something. It's a random buff. I don't know what it's gonna do. Down you go. Bunch of drops from that. So that is what was up here. Don't see anything else. I'm gonna fall down too far into the splat. End up dying and all that. Rise and shine. Oh, it's morning now? I didn't even realize it was night. It's hard to tell with all this fog. I seems to be focusing around the tower itself. You think you're all that, do ya? Can I even get there from here? Yeah, I'm just running for it. I can't even get down there from here, can I? Okay, good. Oh, I see that. Push this thing here and Okay. Of course. Yes, I can go do that. Something so valuable here. But I see this. Guys, get ready to fight. Uh, I'm not looking to fight these. Go away! I don't want to be fighting these things, so I'm trying to kill the other things too. That's just the problem. Of course, everything attacks me all at the same time. Rack knows, the kid knows. I deal with this high encounter rate. And I'm gonna have to deal with uh, an elite to get back. Uh, high ether point too. Did they the wreck? No, no, they didn't. Come after me, and that's what you get. If only you didn't charge off with Looks like they're coming over here. Really? Really? Why are there always more? And how did Noah just die? Why the hell are there always more enemies now? I can't move without getting attacked again and again and again. As soon as I kill an enemy, more show up. Then I kill that one, then more show up. Then I kill that one, then more show up. I'm gonna end up killing every single enemy on this mountain by the time I'm done with this. And I'm just gonna stand in this one spot. They're gonna keep attacking me. I'm more than They're just popping out of nowhere simply to attack me and nothing else. Because I'm not them. Yeah, it's been long enough now. I was gonna do that, but there's been too many random encounters here. Well, not random, but you know. So I'm gonna go and go after that high ether point next time. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. 
and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.